So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading. This is going to be more of a general reading. We're going to see what comes up randomly, energy-wise, and let's get it popping. Now, if you are brand new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. If at any point you would like to follow me on any of my social medias, my other YouTube channel, um get a personal session or anything of that nature, just check out the description box or the comment section for that information and let's get into it. And I hope also that my Taurus, that you guys have enjoyed your birthday season and that you guys are ready to make the most out of this year, the solar return for you. But let's see. Taurus, what's the current energy around them? Okay. So first card that we have, we have the six of swords. Okay. So um, right off the bat, this is really good. For a lot of you, you may have had like just a little moment where there may have been turbulence or random situations trying to throw you off and keep you off of the path that you were on to begin with and I feel like there were certain issues that were coming up to kind of make you realize who you were in the first place a lot of times like a good example of this would be us getting into relationships with people and expecting so much out of the relationship or the other person in terms of what they can deliver for us as far as like personal happiness, um, fulfillment, all those things. And then when we end up in those relationships, we end up realizing that the personal fulfillment always comes from self. It always comes from self, especially when you love on yourself, you're able to appreciate other people loving you more, a lot better, I would say. But anyways, with the Six of Swords here, this is you moving to a better mental space. Uh, some of you may have recently moved, are planning to move, um, or you're just moving to a better way of seeing things. Some of you may have been having this more frantic uh, perspective, very much listening to your emotions instead of what logically makes the most sense. And yeah, you guys are also starting to see things move ahead for you as well. If there were any sort of delays or issues that you kept suffering through, whether this is like unemployment issues or whatever it may be, this is you now starting to see things pick up for you and start moving, okay? So this is good. We have the Prince of Pentacles. So kind of speaking to what I was just talking about, some of you may have been experiencing things just being pretty slow in terms of momentum, um, this may have been like finances or for others of you more of like just you wanting things to pick up in terms of you meeting new love prospects or you meeting new friends or things getting better in terms of your mental health or, you know, you physically losing weight, etc. This is you realizing that it's taking a lot of time. Yes, but with whatever you're working on, whether this is a business, finding love, working on past traumas, this is not a quick, okay, I'll take a week to do this and then it's done. No. Anything with real results require constant work at it and also patience. There also may be something during this time frame um, with this Prince of Pentacles, um, something surrounding like another earth sign may come up. Okay, and this person could be literally anyone to you with that earth energy. Now, we also have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is good. Like I said, you guys are coming out of this woe is me perspective. I'm so stuck. There's nothing that I can do. This is you realizing that that I'm, I feel sorry for myself. I want things to speed up. Throwing tem temper tantrums doesn't work with the universe. Expecting the universe to just deliver something to you just because you say you want it also doesn't work either. 
So you guys are taking on this approach of, okay, well, if I want this to be different in my life, then this is what I need to do. Almost using like the cause and effect into play. Some of you are also not even allowing yourself to stress or worry about a situation anymore. You're realizing that it's just not worth the energy. And that in the end, if you have to keep stressing and worrying and feeling like, you know, you have no control over what's going on in your love life, then that's not a situation to be in anyways. Okay. We have the Prince of Wands. Okay. So this is you guys getting your mojo back. I feel like this whole reading is just pretty much straight to the point. This is you guys getting your mojo back. Um, there may be some sort of new creative endeavors that you may want to start picking up or creative hobbies I would say it may not necessarily be for money that's why I say hobby um I also see with the prince of wands you guys may have some steamy connection brewing between you and possibly a fire sign we have Aries, Sagittarius or Leo energy or just someone who there's a lot of sexual chemistry with and like I said, I see a lot of like flirty text messages being exchanged in communication here. Oh, wait, let me put that back. Where did it go? Because I usually just keep my cards out. Ooh. Yeah, we'll keep this out. All right, so let's see. Taurus. Energy around them. And we also have the Queen of Wands. So like I said, a fire sign of significance may come up here. If this isn't an outside person, like I said, this is you guys taking control of your situation. This is you feeling motivated again. You guys may have had a moment where you didn't feel as motivated or you didn't feel as focused as you needed to be. This could have been pent up anger. You guys may have been going through. Let me clarify this Queen of Wands. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, be careful of a fire sign possibly giving you issues with this is them being difficult to deal with. Um, or them just making your life a little bit harder than it needs to be. And for those of you, if this isn't a fire sign, like I said, this may be you guys adopting more of this motivated perspective or energy but with the seven of wands make sure that you're not letting little issues that do come up along the way throw you off of your you know plan or, or what you're trying to accomplish some of you guys also may be struggling with sexual frustration too that's another thing that i'm seeing and that may be what's causing you to be irritable so i'll be aware of that but anyways i'm gonna stop right here thank you so much for watching this this is just an overview if you took something from this video feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe check out the description if you want a personal and i will see you in the next one bye taurus